All right, welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to use what we have learned so far and put together a simple desktop application. It's going to be more like a desktop widget and what the widget does is it is going to generate a random inspirational quote at regular intervals. So let's see how to get that done. Now, as before, I have the basic Hello World application copied into a new folder and I've named it quote widget. Now we have the package.json file, the main.js and also the index.html. In package.json, I've changed the name to quote widget. In index.html, I've changed the title to quote widget and I've removed the h1 tag inside the body tag. So if we run the app now, we just get a browser window. So npm start will just give us this basic browser window. Let's start by altering the appearance of this browser window. It has to look like a widget. So go to main.js and over here in the browser window, we are going to specify some options. The first one is height. Now this height is going to be 150. We have a width, which is going to be 500. And then we are going to have a frameless window. So frame set to false. All right, let's quickly run this and have a look at the widget now. All right, the size seems appropriate. Let's add some styling and also remove the developer tools. So I'm gonna remove this line and I'm going to add a new file and name it styles.css. In styles.css, we are going to add the style. And remember, it's the HTML that is loaded in the window. So we add the style here to the body tag. Now I'm gonna copy paste some code and explain to you what it does. So we have a background color for the browser window and then we have a font color. We also have a font family, the height of our body tag and then overflow set to hidden so that we don't get a scroll bar. We also add a border radius of five pixels. Now back in our index.html, let's add this reference. So we use the link tag rel is equal to style sheet. We don't need a type. And then href is going to be styles.css. All right, let's save this and run it. npm start. And there you go. All right, that looks decent. So let's continue with the code. Let's close this. Now over here in index.html, I'm going to add a div tag. And this div tag is where the code will be displayed. Now I'm going to give this an ID. ID is equal to code. And then just before the closing body tag, I'm going to add a script and over here, I'm going to require a file and let's name this file index.js. Now this index.js is going to run in the renderer process specific to the browser window. And this file is where we are going to fetch our code and assign it to our HTML, the quote ID div tag. So create a new file and name this index.js. Now to get a random quote, we are going to make use of a free API. Now if you visit the site code on design codesondesign.com, you can read more about the API, but here you can see the API that we can use. Now, if I open this link in a new tab, we basically get back a response. And this response is nothing but the information about a quote. So we have an ID, we have a title for this quote, and we get the actual content. So this is basically no masterpiece was ever created by a lazy artist. So this is the quote that we want to display in our HTML. So the main idea here is to hit this API endpoint at regular intervals, let's say one minute or one hour, and get the response, extract that content, and update our HTML in our application. Now to make a get request to this API, we are going to make use of the request module. You can use jQuery $.get, but this is really not complicated at all. So I recommend using the request module. So in the terminal, run the command npm install request dash dash save.
And if you have a look at package.json, we must have an entry as a dependency for request module. Now that request is installed, we can use it. So in index.js, let request is equal to require request. And then we are going to use a request and this request takes in two arguments. The first one is the URI, basically the API endpoint. And the second one is a callback function. Now the callback function has three arguments, error, response, and the body. Now what is the URI? This right over here. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it. And then in our callback function, we are going to parse our body and then get hold of that content. So let body JSON is equal to JSON dot parse of body. So we are parsing our body string into a JSON object. And then let random code is equal to body JSON. We get hold of the first element in the array and then we need the content of that particular code. Now let me just explain how we are retrieving it. So if you have a look, the API returns an array of codes and we are just actually asking for just one quote. So this is an array. So we are accessing the first element in that array, which gives us the very first quote. Now this first quote actually gives us a lot of information such as ID, title and so on. And we just need the content which gives us that particular quote. So in the JSON array, sorry, in the quotes array, we just want the first element. And in that first element, we just need this content. So this gives us a random quote. And then we can set document.getElementById. Now we have a div tag that has an ID of quote. And I'm going to set its inner HTML to this random quote. All right, let's save this and run npm start. So we have our browser window, the color changes to background color, and then it says, or it gives us the random code. Don't make me think. So if I close this application, now if I run the application again, npm start, we must get a different code. So the only way to be creative over time, to not be undone by our expertise and so on. So this is the random code. So our code is working perfectly fine. Now to improve on this, we want to refresh our code at regular intervals. Now this interval could be one hour or two hours or so on, but for our demo purpose, let's consider the interval to be five seconds so that we can actually see the code changing within this tutorial video. So close this and make use of the set interval function. So set interval is going to have a function and then we specify the interval. Now I'm going to specify 5,000 or five seconds. So within the function, we can just add this code right here. Now I'm not going to refactor it into a function so that we can reuse it. I'm just going to copy paste the exact same code. So every five seconds, make a request to this API and then update the HTML of the div tag. So let's save this and run npm start. So npm start. So we get a random code and then I'm going to count down maybe three, two, one. The simplest way to achieve simplicity is through thoughtful reduction. Three, two, one. So as you see, the code changes every five seconds. And that is because we have specified 5,000 milliseconds, but you can maybe change it to once every hour or so on. So if you notice every five seconds, the code changes on its own and that's it. So when the application is started, a code gets displayed. And after that, every five seconds, another random code gets displayed. Now everything works great, except for two things. First, the window, because it is frameless, is not draggable. So I cannot drag this. So we need to add in our styles for the body to be draggable. So let's close this application, go back to styles.css and over here to the body tag, I'm going to add webkit app region drag. So this allows us to drag around the window on our screen. 
The second thing is when the application loads, we first see a white background and then the dark background and then the code. So we don't want this bad visual effect. So if I run npm start, you can notice that initial white screen and then the background fills and then the code gets generated. So we don't want that. So instead, what we are going to do is I'm going to set on the browser window, show to false. And then I'm going to show the window only when it is ready to show. So we make use of the ready to show event. And then when that gets fired, we are going to display our browser window. So now when I run npm start, we should not see that white screen. So we have the dark background right away and then the code gets filled in. So there you go, your very own random code generating desktop widget. Let me just go over what we have done once so that you get a better understanding of this application. So our main.js file is basically responsible for creating the UI window. So we have a browser window, we specify a height, a width. We also specify that it is frameless and then we don't show it initially. We load index.html into that browser window. Now index.html has a div tag with id quote and then we also require this JavaScript and styles.css. So styles.css is basically for the appearance of that widget. We specify a background color, a font family and so on. And in our index.js, we make use of the request module to make a request to this API that gives us information about a random quote. We extract that quote and assign it to our HTML div tag, which is identified by ID is equal to code. And when we do this every five seconds, a random quote appears on our widget every five seconds. And finally, in our main.js file, we specify that we are going to show the window only when it is ready to show so that we don't observe that flickering effect from white screen to the dark blue screen. All right, that's pretty much it for this application. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the like button and I'll see you guys in the next one.